Honey, she's a good girl. All right, well, Friday morning. Just Honey and me this morning, Honey and I. Um, didn't put out a video last week because I didn't have a very exciting weekend. Uh, I'll put the the uh, footage from last weekend in with this one. But we've come in to try and drop in and get into some elk sheds today. And I see the tips of something up here. So, I don't know, we're maybe an hour into the hike. I've dropped down quite a bit, but we're going to go way down into a canyon today. But I wanted to hunt this flat first. And uh, uh, it might be too high to find browns in here. But I see the tip of a fourth just sticking up. Let me show you what I can see up here. It's a good start to the day. And I think we're about to put a heavy antler on the pack just to even start. So let me show you. All right, now this is probably a little bit easier for me to spot because the camera's not picking it up real great. But, where's my finger? Where are we at? Right there, the tip of that white. Can you see? That is obviously the tip of a, probably a fourth. Let's go look. Now I hit this flat last year and picked up a big six point single that I couldn't match up. Maybe less than 100 yards from here. This could be the match. <laughs> I love it. I love seeing the tips of an antler sticking up out of the man's needle like this. One of my favorite ways to find them. Let me get you turned around here again. I'll show you now you can see. Now you'll be able to see what we got here. So, see it? Right dead center, that white tip. Nice fourth. Let's walk up there and see what it is. Let's get up here above it. Dang, I'll bet you, I bet you that's my other side I couldn't find last year. There it is, honey. Good girl. Hit it. Hit it. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Them things are heavy, aren't they? Good girl. All right, so unless I can find the other side, that's probably... The one I couldn't turn up last year, but this manzanita sure hides them good till they get a little bit of white. It was a hard white last year from a year before, and that's a two-year-old antler, so he had a better beam on the other side, but I'm betting that's him. I'll see if I can find a picture of him. I think I have a picture just me holding it up, so I'll put it in here. And honey just found herself some water, so that's good. Sweet, there's a good start. I'm excited. Look at this. So I'm right here, still next to this one. I just set my pack down. And over there in the manzanita, right there, you won't be able to see it till I zoom in, but there is another fourth and a point sticking up. Let me see if I can zoom in and show it to you from here. See it? Right, dead center of the screen. So that maybe that's the match to this one, or I got just another antler, but obviously one that was here last year that i just couldn't turn up i mean this is a big mason maybe i just didn't walk this part of it but uh we got two baby yeah man i don't know how i missed these last year what do we got there wait a minute this one might be what is it nope it's oh he's busted that's what it is good girl honey busted his main beam Good girl. I don't know. That's the other side. What is that? There it is. Busted the main beam or chewed off. Busted. A little chewed, but busted right there. I bet you that's the other side. That set was here last year when I was on this mesa. 
Good girl, honey. Let's go find some more. Let's go find some more. All right. So this is the set. It wasn't the other side of the one I found in here last year. It's a different bull. Busted off his main beam on that side. Busted him off right there. See, so he'll look better like this. I love that start to the day. Go look for more. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and I'm just wrapping up hunting this mesa top, trying to decide if I want to drop all the way off or hunt a bench over here. But I see more tines right there. It's like a little one. Where is it, honey? Good girl. <laughs> it's tangled up in there, isn't it? She's a good puppy dog. Get it. Get it. Oh, chalky dude. Just a little, little six. Pretty old, but oh, I've already got enough weight on my pack that I'm not sure that going down all the way into the bottom is the right thing to do now. So I guess I'm gonna hunt some benches and see how we do. Cause it would be, if I got down in there and picked up two, three more antlers, it wouldn't be a fun hike out. All right, so I just said I wasn't gonna drop off of here. And as soon as I said that, right where I picked up this antler, I found the game trail. I think it's the game trail that the elk are using to get up and down off this mesa top. <laughs> it goes through this rock slide, but you can see the trail there. Um, and if that's the case, like on a year like this, where they probably didn't make it up this high before they shed, there could be sheds on this trail or on the next level down where this trail comes from. Too tempting to pass up. So we are going to, if this goes down, we're going down. And we'll see what we find down here. It looks really good down there. So maybe we'll stumble onto a set of antlers off a bull that was sneaking his way up here. But we'll see. Look at this craziness. We've been following this path down and I'm almost sure it's gonna go all the way to the bottom, but I mean, it comes, keeps coming to stuff like this where they've just found a way to snake down through ledge after ledge after ledge. We've been switchbacking. It's gonna get down into there. Oh, that looks good. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Big set down there or something. Oh man, I'm just pushing through. All this stuff going, oh, there's gotta be antlers in here. Gotta be, and I come over this little rise right here. Boom, look at that. Look at that. That looks like a tank. Come on, focus on it. There you go. Look at it sticking up there for a second. It looks like a nice antler. Oh, it just, it's one of those places you'd have been just shocked to not walk up on something. Let's go see what that one is. It looks big. So that's what you get. I wasn't going to drop in here because I knew I knew it was going to be rough once with a heavy pack to get back up and out of here. But then I was thinking, what am I in here for? If I'm not going to do that, I'm trying to find a way to get over to this antler 40 yards from it. Uh, but uh, I'm glad I did 
Found that game trail. This is right at the bottom of the game trail, these elk. I knew, you know, so there'll be some years where them elk are up on that higher bench where I found the solder set and the single. And years like this year where they can't get up there or some bulls just probably don't go up there, they're going to be down here one or two levels lower. And uh, we are just about there. Oh, man. We are just about there. Let me turn you around. But on the other side of this bush. A nice hard white. Good girl, honey. Good girl. Good girl. Nice solid six. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Did you get that one, huh? You get credit. We are taking a break. Climbing up out of here. It'll take us a little while. It's quite a ways up. So, I'm just curious if any of you guys drew out any cool tags this year. I have the dedicated hunter, so I'll get to hunt deer. I don't know anybody that drew the late season elk tag uh, right now, so I don't have anybody to help on that this year, which is kind of a bummer if you know anybody that has the late elk season san juan tag let me know um but me and three of my my three brothers are going to go back to michigan to hunt whitetail this year for at least a week uh as long as everything works out and i'm super excited about that that's gonna be like my big hunt of the year uh and i hope we can all go out there and get a chance to take a nice buck so if you guys have any cool tags, let me know, comment, and uh, let me know what you're going to be hunting this year. Me, I'm going to keep shed hunting until the deer get more interesting in the elk, um, and then I'll keep shed hunting. But uh, I'm looking forward to October, because that's when we're going to Michigan. Well, here we go. I looked at that three times, decided it was a branch. Then decided it was an antler, then decided it was branch. I thought, well, I'll walk that way anyway. A little raggy. Hard white. <laughs> little five point. Oops. There we go. You want to see how well Manzanita can hide an antler? There's one right dead center in the screen. Right dead center. I just got lucky and caught the fork. If I hadn't seen the fork, I would have missed it, I'm sure. So, I went to that first spot this morning where I found that little raggy, raghorn antler. I almost left and came home. I hiked that whole area and didn't find nothing, and I, I couldn't. I wanted to get, I wanted to find something else. So I came clear over to another spot and I've been hiking for about another hour and it paid off. It paid off. Let's see what we got. See it there now? Doesn't look like anything big, but. But we got another antler and it is a, Five point. Well hidden in the man's nida. I think this point I'm on should have more, so let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Well, I have a small dilemma. I'm climbing up this ridge right here behind me. See it? 
nasty. I've come all the way from down there and I'm almost, well, I'm well over halfway up. And I just looked down here and right there is a five point elk shed. So do I climb all the way back down and go get that? It's not a big one, it's bigger than the one I got here. The answer is yes, I guess. I'm gonna leave my pack in the center here, go down there and get that one and climb back up to here, I guess. Let's go see what it is. All right, let's see, it's right here. Right there. <laughs> it's even smaller than I thought. 6.2. Oh. oh, I thought I just matched it up. Wait, did I? No, oh. you can see how much. No, oh, that's an antler. <laughs> that's just so, so old, it's just rotted there. I was about to say, see how much that man's needle root looks like an antler? <sighs> so there was two of them here. I guess I better walk this little bowl just a little bit. My uh, pack is up there. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. Yeah, there to sit there that long. Where's the other side to my little six? It's probably in this little bowl right here, you can see. I'll let you know if I find it. Yes, I was just about to come on and say, well, it's probably the end of the video. I'm not gonna find anything else, and I walked right up on one. Right there. Oh, it's got a cool inline off of the, the beam or a fist kicked off to that side. Whoa. What do we got there? Oh boy. It's like a heavy bull. And then I guess the fist that little dude right there. Oh, that's the best antler of the day. Oh, happy to get that. I gotta start heading back. I'm tired, my legs are tired. But uh, it's always worth it to go a little bit further. That's how I get most of my stuff is Further, little further, little further. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel. We'll keep looking, hoping to find something huge always. Uh, if I find something else, I'll be right back. And I'm right back. We just picked that one up right there in those manzanitas. Right there. And I went, oh, what, 20 yards? And look, sticking up right there. That's the other side. That is the other side. Look at that set. Man, that's a sweet bull. Sweet five. I'll set up the camera and show that to you. That's a nice bull. All right, check out this bull. It's not a match. Two different bulls. Look at that, had a left and a right, and I just assumed, but look at the mass of that pedicle versus that pedicle. Oh man, that's crazy. Two big fives that close together, a left and a right, and it's not even a match. This one right here is a heavy antler, man. Look at the mass on the beam right there. That is a tank of a bull. Now I gotta find two of them. Look at that third. Kind of a cool fourth on there. Oh, I can't believe it. I just assumed left and right, both fives. As soon as I threw that one down next to it, you can see the pedicle on this one's half the size. The mass is not near as good. Well, dang it. Now I gotta find the other sides. Well, I just 
ran off real quick to do a quick loop, see if I couldn't match one of them up. And left the camera back there and uh, just walked right up on another five point. It's about got to be the other side of the smaller one. That's why I have my boot tracks here. There's my boot tracks coming right through here. This one was hidden. You wouldn't see this one coming from any other direction. See it laying there? Let's see what we got here. I think that's a different five. I guess it's possible it's that first one because it's tucked up in there, it's just in better shape. see it is the left side could be well let's keep looking I want to match up that big one man my pack just got heavy not complaining but I'm tired and all of a sudden we just threw at least 30 pounds on it uh, cool cool like and subscribe and let's go match up that big five all right, do we have the right one this time? I think so. I think we matched up the first one. No! Okay. Okay. About panicked again. Yeah, I think so. Pedicles match. You just weak on this second right here, a little bit broomed off. So, there's the first one. How about that? I'd like to see this set. This right here is a, I mean, even chalky, that thing's over 10 pounds. Massive. Just the beam is crazy. So I'm going to do a loop here real quick. See what we can find. Holy cow, I've hit some rigs that just been overlooked because here's another one. But that thing is ancient. That was dropped there sometime before I was born, <laughs> probably. Uh, sweet, it's cool to find a little pocket like this. I'm gonna leave that one because I'm heavy now and I still wanna find that uh, other five. Uh, that one probably wouldn't make it out in one piece anyway. So let's keep looking for that five and then I'm gonna turn around and try to get up out of here. Got a big canyon to cross and well, two, so this will be fun. I'm making my way up and out slowly. I'm about 80% up this last big canyon. And I look down here. <laughs> Let's see if I can show it to you. Where is it? Just to the right side of that. Right there. Dead center in the screen, elk shed. And I am not crossing this thing back over there to get it. That'll have to be got some other time. I am tired. I'm about 1.03 miles away from the vehicle. I've got another little climb here and then it's, it's all uphill, but far more gradual than this right here. This side here looks like that side there. It's steep and 
That little antler right there is going to have to stay for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just got to get out of here. All right, so I, I noticed that uh, you couldn't see it very good in the video because it was cropped in too close. So I wanted to show you this set right here. Hey, this set right here. This is a good five, big solid five. This one was in the Manzanita, so it's got a lot better color on it. But it's dwarfed by this one right here. Look at the mass in here. We'll see, we'll throw it on a scale here and see what it weighs, but I'm betting 10, 11 pounds minimum, even as a chalk. That one is a beast.